Hey everyone, I am Lars, and this is What's in My Bag Hollywood Edition. I was instructed to uh, have a minimum of five items. I think I just made my quota here. <laughs> Let's see. Born to run Bruce Springsteen. I'm not a huge Springsteen aficionado. I can't walk you through all the songs and the B-sides and the stories and all that. But I've always obviously had a lot of respect for him. And then I read a few excerpts and was just blown away by his writing. There's no ghostwriter. This is all from Bruce Springsteen himself. And um, he's really open and, and just puts it all on the table and he writes like he writes songs. Dread, the sense that things might not work out, that the moral high ground had been swept out from underneath us, that the dream we had of ourselves had somehow been tainted and the future would forever be uninsured was in the air. This was the new lay of the land and if I was going to put my characters out on that highway, I was gonna to have to put all these things in the car with them. Now I have this for my library. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay. <laughs> Amoeba is uh, one of the greatest places to do Christmas shopping. Charles Bukowski, oh, who is one of my favorite writers. My wife is a bit of a cat fanatic. Oh. And she likes literature. Perfect. So Bukowski and cats together should make a fine Christmas present. Don't tell her if you <laughs> see her. Okay. John Woo. Uh, one of the all-time classic directors of Hong Kong action cinema. These are the two first movies of his that I saw. The Killer. And Hard Boiled. Uh, he did four or five seminal films, late 80s, early 90s, A Better Tomorrow, A Better Tomorrow 2, Bullet and Head, Killer, and Hardboiled, most of which featured Chow Young Fat. I have all these movies on Laserdisc, and I've seen all of them numerous times. I may have them on DVD, but now I got more copies of them, on DVD. them on DVD. Now I got the double pack. Oh, it's Christmas. So what could be cooler in no particular order than a Christmas card of Tony Iommi? Oh. <laughs> Christmas card of King Diamond. When I think baby Jesus in the crib, I instantly think King Diamond. Of so uh, this is tailor made for me. Again, who are you gonna add to that list other than the Scorpions? Yeah. There's uh, Rudolph and Klaus in all their glory, the flying V. And so uh, I think we've got Christmas cards covered. Yes. Thank you very much for this season. <laughs> I was under strict instructions from uh, my much better half to procure the uh, latest Radiohead album, A Moon Shaped Pool. Sort of like Springsteen, I've always respected Radiohead. Never like gotten really close, but my better half, uh, Jessica, has, uh, we went to two Radiohead shows this year. Just standing there like watching them do their thing and how they interact with each other. Uh, by the time the second one was done, I must say that I was starting to uh, drink the Kool-Aid too and um, really get into it. Deep Purple. Uh, this is uh, Graz, 1975. Graz is a city in Austria. I believe this was the last show that Richie Blackmore played with him. They uh, spit out live albums from back in the heyday, from 69 to 75. I think there's one about every two weeks. Maybe it's three, <laughs> but um, they come out in these super cool packages with lots of pictures and sleeve notes and all kinds of goodie. So here is um, Deep Purple from 1975 before um, Richard went off with the support act. It's the lead singer, Tucky Buzzer, Ronnie Dio. Lords of Chaos, uh, it's a book I'm well aware of, but I have not read. A friend of mine, uh, Jonas Akalon, is making a movie based on this book and he directed one of the videos from the new Metallica album, Man Unkind, which uh, was in the spirit of this particular genre. This is just an interesting story, and whether you 
appreciate the music, whether you don't appreciate the music, it's part of, of sort of pop culture history. And uh, now, thanks to Amoeba, I have. Since we like to be cutting edge in Metallica, <laughs> here are two up and coming English bands. <laughs> this is a movie of the Beatles that's called Eight Days a Week, that's directed by Ron Howard, which I've been looking forward to seeing. And this is uh, about the Stones' recent trek, I believe, through uh, Latin America and Cuba. When you hear about these two bands, just just remember one thing. You heard it here first. Okay, Lars Ulrich, thank you. Speaking of movies, fellow Dane, Lars von Trier. Uh, this is the extended director's cut of his mega undertaking called uh, Nymphomaniac. The one who had fucked the most men when we reached the destination would win the chocolate sweets. Which was released uh, in volume one and volume two. It was easy to see that they became quite excited. I got excited. Yes, about the mathematical crap, not about the story. He asked Metallica to write a song for this movie. Due to the old schedule conflict, it didn't happen, but uh, Lars is a dear friend. He's got a pretty cool first name, by the way. He has made some of the greatest films in cinema in the last 20 X years. This may be like eight or 12 hours long, so, uh, <laughs> you know, don't make any other plans for that night. Again, don't tell my wife this, but I got uh, another Christmas present for the stocking. Cat tweets. This looks at the very extra silly end of silly cat stuff. And then we'll end up uh, in jazz world, conversations over music. Ben Ratliff, uh, which is one of the finest writers from the New York Times. Jazz is a, a big thing in my life and a big thing in my kids' life and also in my dad's life. Growing up in Copenhagen and being around sort of the, the European jazz scene in the 50s and 60s and 70s. So uh, this looks like a welcome addition to the library. Masters of Jazz Photography, Lee Tanner, the jazz image. Some really cool atmospheric uh, portraits, some awesome black and white. Lots of people smoking. Yes. Don't smoke at home, kids. It's bad for you. I believe that the only thing left in here now is air. Yes. But I would love to take the bag with me. We love Amoeba bags. So now we have an additional <laughs> bag, baby. There you go. So thank you very much for this. This has been fun. Uh, slightly overwhelming, but uh, a nice way to uh, end the week in LA. Thank you.